highly disappointed. Uh, I'm sure if, uh, Komla, you've known me in person, uh, whilst I've been sad all the days, I'm sure you'll see that my disposition today is worse than it has ever been any time we had come for this case. That should amplify what the family's position is. We are more than disappointed that um, for the second time running, um, we are told the judge is not available. And again, we're given two weeks the last time that the Attorney General's uh, advice was going to come. Certainly, we are not oblivious of the fact that cases of this nature are supposed to be handled at the High Court. And so to the extent that the Attorney General's advice would have to come before the case is direct, directed at a particular High Court, and that is also delaying. I think that uh, the system is failing us as a family. It is becoming a theater of uh, uncertainties. The case is becoming a cliffhanger for us because we do not know when the matter will be brought to rest. And we have called for uh, an expeditious trial right from day one. But if at the early stages the case is still crawling at uh, the court here, then we do not know when this case will end. And the more the case delays, the more we go through emotional torture as a family. My brother-in-law, who is just by my left, who is the father of the late Ishmael Abdallah, lives in our hometown in the Kratin Contact District of Otu region. Every two weeks he has to travel to come see to the finality of this case. The risk involved, the cost involved, and all other things that we are still losing. We've lost our son already, yet the state is not doing things right that as early as possible the family will see to the finality of this matter. So we are more than disappointed. Disappointment is, is, is an understatement. We'll call on the Attorney General's Department to wake up. We are highly disappointed. So right now, what options are available? I mean, they've given you another two weeks, but in the interim, within that time and now, what other steps are available to the family? Well, of course, the family has been brooding over these issues. We've been brooding over these uncertainties and disappointments and a seeming systemic failures. And uh, as I speak from here, we're going to have a meeting. We are going to have a series of family meetings and do a lot of introspection. What we can assure the good people of this country is that we're going to pursue this matter with the needed alacrity moving on. We're going to make sure that the various options that are available to us, the family is going to meet. Uh, we intend to invite the media, I mean yourselves, to come and whatever decision that we take on the way forward about this matter, I mean, we're going to put that before the good people of this country through the media. So in the next few days, they're expecting our invitation so that the family will make a public statement. Will this not be a manifestation of a proverbial, the wheels of justice grind slowly, come what may, however slowly it takes, sometime you may still get justice. You think it is... Well, if you flip the coin to justice delays and affront to the rule of law, we are well that. Justice delays, justice denied, as others also say. And so for us, to the extent that the basics, we are not even at the high court yet. To the extent that a mere fact that a judge is not available on one case, then the second time the judge is not available. I do not understand why this will be justice delayed, justice denied. If, unless there is a conspiracy theory the family is not aware about. If there is no conspiracy theory to do injustice to the Ishmael Abdel Lamensa family, then we think that this cannot be accepted by any well-meaning people in any democracy. We feel that there is something untoward, there is something mystical that the family does not understand. And so for us, the mere fact that the, the, the case is being delayed, just because one, the AG is not advising, because as of now the police have told us the advice from the Attorney General's Department is not available. Number two, to the extent that the judge is not available, and on two weeks, that is about four weeks now, no judge to even move the case further. That is highly uh, disappointed as far as the family is concerned. So for us, we do not believe that uh, it's just part of the justice delayed, uh, justice must be delayed and grind slowly to the... No, we do not think that uh, this is part of any democratic experiment if we want justice to be done in the family. And that is why we are appalled and that is why the family is going to meet in the coming days. I invite you the media based on the resolution of the family. We think that we need to take uh, a much more drastic step as a family than what we are seeing today. We ever trusted the system, we felt that the police were competent enough, the law uh, enforcement agencies, the courts were good enough to handle this case. But as of now, we are given a reason to suspect that um, our thoughts were wrong. And so the family would have to sit again and look at this matter and take a drastic action, which we shall invite you to inform you and inform all the people of this country.